Hey y'all, it's Tracy. Mama's comfort cooking. Come on in. Need a bowl. I know y'all see me cooking. Cause I got Bible study, so I am putting a rush. So sorry about that. today for Bible study. All right, I'm cooking without an oven, but I'm still going to make my potato poncho. I'm just going to make it on top of the stove. All right, I'm going to start breaking this down with water. Now come on in. And I'm going to cut up some cheese so I can get my sauce stuff ready. Come on in. How y'all doing? I'm going to greet you. Come on in. I'm turn the heat up so we can get going. Come on So water is going to change the texture of this meat. It's going to pull the fat out. It's going to change the texture. Okay. You don't like the texture to change to taco meat, then you don't have to do that step. But that's what it does. And it pulls our fat out. And I got two packs of um, taco seasoning already in here. Reduced sodium. Y'all, I'm not playing about that I gotta get keep that swelling out of my body. Okay. So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna turn y'all up, and greet you, and keep cooking for ya. Woo, doggy, honey, honey, honey. Hey y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> Ooh, I think I just put my glasses in the back. Hey, Brad, bring my glasses in my purse. This is um cream cheese. Have y'all ever seen cream cheese this big? It's bigger than a Velveeta. Well, you can only get these at um wholesale places. But this is um um Philadelphia cream cheese. I said Velveeta. It's Philadelphia cream cheese. So we get ready to make the sauce for this. I'm cooking a potato poncho on the stove because I don't have no oven. And I'm doing a split decision because I'm going to have something else as well. But let me get going with this and then we'll, we'll go to the next things, okay? You know, I know sometimes we have that little problem where we, we struggle to give people time to help you so just give me time to help you okay so we're gonna use some of that just get the just take this back let's get the glasses out i already have some i got my good ones in here thank you sweetie take your nap i love you so um i'm getting ready to cut up the cheese i couldn't see nothing so hold on y'all Mama T, I'm here in Carter's. Where, where is the wholesale place? Oh, no, 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 no. You can't go to the wholesale place. I just buy this. You got to have a license. You can't get in. I mean, you might if you got a um, a license. You got a, a business with um, all your stuff. You can probably get in. I can. If you ever need something, I'm going that way. Um, just let me know and I'll get it for you, girl. That's how you do. Okay, I'm going to get some of this um cream cheese real quick. I have to buy it like this because I'll be baking with it. Okay? 
and get a little cream of cheese. And it, it's actually like, it gives you the markings like eight ounces, eight ounces, eight ounces. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, eight ounces. And it's cheap. Believe it or not. So we're going to cut some more of this. All right. Oh. I don't need that much because I ain't making a, a huge mongoose one. Just enough to, enough to do me. Because I'm going to add something else in here, okay? That's enough. And I'll, I'll compress it back. Put it back in the box. Yeah, I'm a member of, uh-huh. Yeah, I remember Costco's and all that and Sam's and yeah, but this is not just your regular um, wholesale place. Sam's have it. Somebody said Sam have them this big. They three pounds. Somebody said Sam's have it. I didn't get mine from Sam's. I didn't know they had them that big. When I go, I don't never see them that big. Oh, that was uh, that was cream cheese. And now I'm going to use some Velveeta cheese, okay? Y'all know I mix this right with some sour cream. And that's going to be our spread. And I'm going to cook this on top of the stove. And we're going to put together two different things at one time. Make sure y'all sprinkle me, please. Please, sir, and please, ma'am, sprinkle me. Okay? Just tuning in. What you making? Um, I'm getting ready to make... Uh, they're trying to get the name out you. Oh! Oh! gonna do them no good do you know some restaurant places cisco's i can drop a lot of wholesale places you ain't gonna get in though you know them food trucks you see the back of it it say cisco you know the same food trucks that come to the school and same food trucks that go to the nursing homes a whole bunch of different ones Okay, so I used, this was, I didn't use all of this. This is 16 ounces, so I left another 8 ounces of, Velve of, of Velveeta. Um, somebody on here gave me all these Velveetas. I'm so grateful. I'm still using these Velveetas. Did you invent, what? Did you invent this recipe? I have never heard. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, ma'am, I did it. That's what we do, right? All of us invent something. I invented my cake. I invented this. Yeah. yeah. I just stay in my kitchen and I play it. If I make a mistake and I come up with something, when my kids want it stuff, I just got in here and did it my way. Okay? So let's get this in the um, microwave so that it can melt. And we're going to add sour cream. So you got Philadelphia cream cheese, Velveeta, and sour cream. We're going to stir this real good, okay? And we're going to have to make this on the stove because I ain't got no um, oven right now. I'm cooking without an oven. Okay, it went out on me. I didn't know I was on the live. My husband forgot to tell me because he had been cooking and taking care of me when I was down with my procedure this past week. I'm so excited to be back in the kitchen. I just want to cook, even if it's something so simple and easy. All right? Makes me feel good. Rosemary Turner and think about you, Jelly Roll. Oh, Jelly Roll is a hot diggity dog. What you do to me, man. Okay, let me turn this down so y'all can see. So y'all have to watch me. Alright, it's going now. It's cooking real good. It's doing what it should. Mm -hmm. This one, I put some mushrooms in it. I change up all the time. You break that meat down, you'll end up having more. That water is breaking it down. It's going to turn it into a crumble. That's how I make my chili.
Y'all don't let me forget not to use all this meat. Call mine smashed potato ponchos. As a matter of fact, smash. That's all for now. I'm moving kind of quick because I do Bible study on Mondays. So, I'm sorry if I, I don't want to rush, but I am. I know I am rushing. I know it for myself. But I got something else to do. I have another page. That I teach Bible study on. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be a multitasker. I just want to turn this meat into crumbles. I like this one. One that I can press down a little harder. I already done my potatoes. I used those I had last night. I'm going to make a small one because I had to, I wasn't going to waste my arms. Um, I wasn't going to waste my stuff. All right. Come on. Come on. Let me get this going and then I'm going to show you the next steps. We're going to drain this anyway. And we're going to add one more packet of that stuff when I get it. Like I got some mushrooms in here. Mushrooms take on whatever you season it with. We're going to cook it on top of the stove. You got it. You just still gotta feed your family. And pull it out. And this is um, this is chuck, brown chuck. Stir this up in here. I'm sorry. I'm back. I wasn't. I couldn't read the comments. I couldn't read the comments. So I, I got the um, taco packs in there, and I'm actually got water in there, changing the texture of the meat to turn it into taco meat. And now I got my cream cheese. And my Velveeta. And I'm going to... You know, it gets stuck in this thing. Keep whipping this together and I'm going to add some sour cream. And I'm going to spread this in there early. So it can do what it need to do. Because I ain't got no oven. Hey, Donna! Oh, I make my whole windows and everything sweat. Wait, wait. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Well, yeah, y'all have. Y'all been on here. Y'all done seen how I do it Thanksgiving and stuff like that. I feel my help coming, but I can't overdo it because I do have a guest coming. And we do have a long weekend of doing things. And then after this month, Lord willing, I'm still here. You know, you can't take nothing for granted. <laughs> but plan and not plan sometimes. Um, but my uh, crew gonna come on. I'm looking forward to that. Got them big arms for nothing. I said 
Now we're going to add some um, sour cream in here. How are you? I'm doing good. You ain't coming, Rosemary. I already know you ain't. I don't even want to hear you. I know you're not coming, Rose. I know you ain't coming. <laughs> you's not coming. Let's put some sour cream because Rosemary Jelly Roll is not coming. She like to pull my leg. That's all. Honey, they ain't set me like they used to. They don't love me like they used to. That's why they treat me the way they do. They don't love me. Y'all don't love me no more. <laughs> Jody by Jody. He don't love me no more. Jody. They don't love mama no more. <laughs> they don't love me like they They don't love me no more. <laughs> I just put some sour cream. That was one of my favorite parts on that movie. She said Jody didn't love her no more. Y'all don't love me like y'all used to. Y'all don't. Oh, y'all don't love me. I can feel that y'all don't. But I ain't going nowhere. Just come visit your mama every now and then while y'all out there. In. But you know what it is, really? America has opened up. Some people watch it. Some don't. Some never did. Some never will. Some did and they left. But it's just a part of life, too. America has opened back up. So this is my spread. And if you not made this before, you know you can freeze this. Put it in the refrigerator and you won't have to go through all this the next time. Mmm. <sighs> you know what? That's good. You could turn that into an amazing spread. Spread on your crackers and you could add you some jalapenos and pimentos if you wanted to. And um, Yeah, you could do something with that. I do feel that um, if I love you anymore. <laughs> Jimmy, I love you. I know. You can taste it. It's good. Hey, jo uh, Joanne Thompson. Y'all just coming in. I'm, I'm fixing my potato puncher. Y'all know I'm known for it. So I might well do it. I'm going to turn y'all around. And I can't read comments. Because I'm going to move away. Okay? I could set y'all back where y'all could see me and the food. Okay. I'm going to sit down, baby. Let me taste and see if I need that other pack of taco meat. And this time I'm not gonna add no no water. I'm use, I use four in this batch. They reduce sodium too. And then I'm gonna drain it. That's how you get that good old taco, taco flavor in there. That's what it is, ain't it? That's what they told me it was called. Taco meat. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> I'm not a talking about it. I'm not your friend. Well, I don't want to talk about it. Get it? Ha, ha, ha. Taco I don't want 
talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it either. Well, let's not talk about it. Okay, let me show you. So I know some people don't believe it. But all I got to do is a little draining. Not very much. I'm not going to talk about it. Yes, we're making potato puncha. You see how I broke that down into taco meat? By that water. I know a lot of people didn't believe it. And I got some mushrooms in here. But the consistency of the meat is just like taco meat. That's how you break it down. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna drain this and wash my skillet out. Ain't got much to drain. That's what cooked all the way. To, it cooked the grease out of it. The water helped pull the grease out. Y'all don't let me forget to take some of this meat out of here now. I don't need all that meat. First time I heard of it. Yeah, you ain't gonna hear about it because I made it up. That's all. I call it a smashed potato puncher. A smash one, baby. Turn that heat off. I gotta go drain you. Y'all welcome to come along. And don't be talking too much, Carl. Let me sit y'all right here because I got to drain this now. Don't ask me no questions right now. Because I ain't that good with walking and toting stuff. So, you're going to get your question now. Don't, don't ask me that. Whatever that question was, don't ask me nothing. Don't, don't. Me. Don't ask me about the bowl in the sink to catch. Don't ask me that. Don't ask me nothing right now. Hey, say. I can't, I can't walk. I, I, I. Thank y'all, but I, I be doing this all the time. Y'all know when y'all got to catch grease, you got to put something under the strainer. Don't ask me that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't talk to me. Please don't ask me that at this moment. <laughs> Spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious while I'm doing this. Keep y'all busy. Please don't. Please don't ask me that at this present time. I ain't gonna wash this out. All my goodness is down there. Hey. Yeah, I got a thing under here draining it. It's catching all of it. We finna put it together. My team know I got Bible study, so I gotta do it right now. I'm draining it out, but I ain't gonna put it all back in the sink. So let's get started on part two, okay? This is still draining. Okay, it's doing real good. It's in the sink. I got a ketchup under here. Yes, I'm draining it. It's real good and mushy like it should be. And now we're going to take the skillet back over here and do part two. 
Part two is we're going to put the potatoes and the sauce in. All that kind of stuff because I got to cook it on top of the stove. Hey, Tay Anderson. Come on, y'all. Come on. Let's go on to part two. Okay, I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to turn you around. Here go part two. Hi, welcome to part two. Part two. I'm going to use garden combination chunky style. Take your summer, pour it in the skillet. Mr. M I S T E R. Sky. S K A Y. Stocking. Okay, that's what you want to do. You want to take your part of your potatoes, okay? Part of them, even the ones from yesterday. You heard it, and you know it, and you got it right. And then you want to take some of your cheese spray. Color. And you're gonna spread it. Yeah, right there. You want stewed tomatoes? You can add your stewed tomatoes. I'm gonna bring my pot my grease in it. Turn it down. Don't cook it too fast like I'm doing. I'm trying to rush. Start putting your meat on there. Just like that. Go ahead and put your meat on there. I took some out already. Thank y'all for reminding me. Y'all are amazing. I love y'all. That's why I tell people y'all simple to simply the best. Y'all better than everyone. Y'all better than anybody else's page. Y'all the best. My page, people, is the best. Why wouldn't you be? Who gonna praise somebody else's pawn more than they praise their own pawn? Who all that would be a crazy person if y'all smear mama? Mm -hmm. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Let me come on over here for a second. A quick past second. Hold on. Are we just building it up and build it up? Y'all see what I'm doing? <sighs> Let me get y'all in here. Y'all something else. Y'all so small. Ah, no, this ain't like a shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie don't have all these ingredients in it. And the potatoes are mashed. So no, it's not like a shepherd's pie. I don't have none of these ingredients in it. Shepherd pie, don't worry, I should say. Taco meat and taco seasoning. They don't have all that in there. But I get, I get what you're saying. I get you. Put you some more potatoes in there. I think y'all are the best to me. I don't think nobody else's is better. I'm going to praise my own pond. That means my own people. I'm going to need me a new pair of arms. I got more burns and cuts 
on my arms than anybody from cooking. Cooking. From what? From cooking. Now, nobody, for you come for me, and nobody told you this was healthy before you turned your camera on. Not nobody. We ain't trying to tell you that it's going to be. Go on with that before you get in trouble and be in recess. Go on add the rest of your cream. That's why I know how much to make of this stuff. I don't make no more than I need with stuff. Because stuff is too expensive. I went to the store today and spent $183. Well, you know, it was 82 and some change, so I just rounded it up versus down. Because it was more spent up than down. How about that? So you just going to spread that. Just like that. Okay, and um, I add stewed tomatoes to mine if you want them. If not, omit them, okay? You don't have to do that, but they show sure is good. I like tomatoes, but you don't have to, okay? Let's just say the day we want. Y'all, we won't want to add no tomatoes today, right? Okay, so the next step is we're going to, this is full of cheese now. I love to cook. It bothers Oh, y'all don't have no idea. I can't halfway sit down. Put the rest of that meat on there. People like meat and potatoes, right? If you are a meat and potato person, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Normally, I would say put it in the oven and all that. I ain't got no oven. We're going to cover it up and do it on the stove today. You got to improvise. Don't feel bad because you don't have what somebody else have. Use the best you got. Just use the little you got. You got to have faith. Honey, ain't got no oven now. You want to add sausage to this? You can. You want to improvise and take it out and put some chicken. I'm going to put it together. And what we're going to do, we're going to dip. When I put my hand on my hip, you dip, we dip. I dip, you dip, we dip. All right? You can add your sweet tomatoes if that's what you want. All right? I want to top it because, you know, it is a cheese fest going on. And if you don't want this much, don't use the in-between in cheese. You know, put your stewed tomatoes in there and omit that in-between goodness. That's all. Don't worry about it. Can't nobody tell you what to do with your stuff. That's the problem with people. You know how to tell you. Uh -uh. Sometimes I put black olives in here. You can top it when I get through with it. I top it with everything. And I clean up as I go. You can add as much sauce as you want to. That's your business. You don't like it? I don't like tomato sauce. Not sauce, so I use ragu. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good, though. I promise you. No oven. When you don't have an oven, what you do? You cover your food up. Who said that? Amen. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to cover the food up. And keep moving and go to the next thing I'm going to fix. Okay? Okay. <laughs> How you say that? You don't like what somebody say to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cover it up. Leave it alone. Turn it on low. Uh, then you're gone. Like that. Back it up. Slide. Move to the left. Uh, back it to the sink. Uh, uh, wash dishes. Uh, uh, wash dishes. Here we go. Give it a little minute. And it'll be like it's in the oven. That's all right now. We're going to clean up a spot. And keep it moving. And go to the next thing. So get at its little time. It needs its little time. Give its little time. And now we're going to go do something else. Okay, and you can add stewed tomatoes in here. You can take the mushrooms out. You can add sausage. You can do mixed meat. You can add chicken. And anybody done tried it, I was in the store. 
And I was on the phone with Jermaine, and the lady walked up to me and said, I tried your smashed potato poncho. She said, it's so good. And it is. I smashed that. And I didn't have a lot of potatoes. So I had to use what I had. And yesterday, I didn't get to pick some potatoes. I just wasn't happy with yesterday. I just wasn't happy with the meal. I was grateful for it. So I'm doing something else with them. So next, I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do. How, that's how they did back in the day. Yeah, no oven. You know, people used to make biscuits on top of their stove. Let's go. So good. Put them inside those old, they used to warm with the same fireplace they had to cook with. Please tell me where you got that hat. I done had this hat so long, baby. I go, I'm Church of God in Christ. I got hats. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, I do. It just hit me. Um, when in my hair salon that I had, I used to go to the wholesale place and I used to sell hats at my salon and pictures and figurines. So I got it at the wholesale. Half of them hats I can't get no more. Cause I like to wear brim. And I used to get you know the clothing. And a lot of stores, um, they went out of business now. A lot of the wholesale places off of Fulton Industrial went out of business. K and G, I mean K and K O K Furniture and all those places down there. Off of Bankhead and Fulton Industrial. dishes in the fireplace yeah when we didn't have before we got all we got all that stuff out back when we had some bad stuff snowstorms and stuff that's what i did i i cooked in my fireplace i used my cast iron hey i miss you now i'm gonna go and over here and do this next thing hold on I gotta find that um oh, baby I done had this forever. I don't know what you're gonna find and I ain't got no extra one. I got it in brown, this color. I had on a denim one yesterday. Um this color I got this in. I don't know. But this is my style of hat, so I wear this style of hat. And I will go to the holy convocation. I'm gonna catch the convocation. <laughs> I'm going to mess around and catch the convocation. Who going to the holy convocation in Memphis? They back home? Anybody going on here? Any of my Kojic people going to the convocation next month? Anybody? Hey, Mr. Walter. Walter you? Hey, say. Say, Mr. Okay, here we go. The best biscuits you ever ate was for your auntie. And uh, she cooked them inside her wooden stove. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Angela. You improvise. Okay, let's go to the next thing I'm going to make for y'all. Come on over here. Cooking without an oven part two. So, I decided to do a split decision today. I'm going to turn the camera around and let y'all see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to make me a taco salad, half taco salad and half potato poncho. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. What you're going to do, that's what I'm going to do. So, I have diced tomatoes, I have purple onions. I have um, the pico de gallo mix. I have my olives. I have cheese. I have tortilla strips, southwestern and multicolor. 
And I like mixed vegetable green for my salad. Iceberg lettuce by itself doesn't have a lot of nutrition in it. So let's put that together, shall we? All right, let me turn you that way for a second. I need to go over here and get something. Please bear with me. Keep all announcements in mind. Govern yourselves accordingly. Thank you for watching. All right, here we go. Let me um, get this real quick. Bit. <laughs> y'all i thought eddie had used up all my everything sauce everything ain't everything if i ain't got my everything i like my everything sauce and i use it as a salad dressing i mix it with other stuff to stretch it out so here we go okay y'all so when my crew comes i'm gonna do a lot of this all right so let me demonstrate something for y'all. I'm going to turn the camera up. Can y'all see me? This is my everything sauce. I'm going to turn the camera around. Hold on. Okay. This is all I got left. All my everything sauce. I'm going to make some more, but that's all I got. I ain't got no more in the house. I ain't got no more in the house cause you know I took it off the market. So I just we just make it for I'm gonna put it back. But this is what I do with my everything sauce. This is what I do. And you can make stuff so fat. You know, when I took when I was in Weight Watchers, you can top this and put bell peppers and all kind of stuff and it's free. I do not like when they get this stuff so sealed. Remove the store package. Wash cold water drain. <laughs> Lord bless her heart. <laughs> mm -mm. It's gone, honey. I'm going to eat this. Thank you. You know, I like. Hold on, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with my everything sauce. So this is all I got, uh, Jimmy. That's it. So I'm going to take me some house Italian light. I'm going to pour it in here. Now, what I'm going to do is add me some vinegar because I like a strong vinegar. So, I'm going to get me some vinegar and I'm going to put in here. And so, with the little bit that I had left, that's why I tell y'all you can use this with more than one thing. It's, it's, you can take this and you can use this and stretch it out. You don't have to just... Pour it out. You can, but you don't have to. So what I'm going to do is fix, fix this plate. Okay? And I'm only going to put a little bit of salad because I got to put some potato punch up. Okay? And this is a big plate. But I'm going to make a presentation for y'all. Okay? Then I'm going to add some taco meat to this. I'm trying to decide what I want to add first. I don't want to add the taco meat first because I just want to. I'm trying to decide. 
Andiamo dentro. Lasse è troppo. So I'm gonna add some tofu. And you can shred this up as much as you want. Because I like a good crispy lettuce. This is that crispy kind. But you can, if you like your shredded, then do your shredded, okay? I'm just going to put one dab of that taco meat on that. Just like that. Then I'm going to sprinkle it with cheese. Turn it around because you got a lot of people eating with you. It's just me. And then um, I'm going to add me a little tomato. I'm going to add me a little pico, the guy. Oh, you know him. You know pico. Pico, the guy. Oh, yeah, him. I ain't been on him that long. Kind of. Then I'm going to add me some black olives and I'm going to add me some croutons. They're like that. But we're not finished. Okay, before we put the dressing on, we got to fill this spot right here with a little potato puncho. Okay? And then we're going to squeeze a little dollop. Do a dollop of daisy. Y'all know daisy. Um, day, Do a dollop of daisy. Daisy, she, she all right. Daisy sour cream sometimes, so just do a dollop of her, okay? Now, let's go on over here and finish this so I can turn the camera around for everybody. Thank you. Okay. Come on. Let's do it. Let's see how our oven is working. We're cooking it in the oven, in the spirit. Over where the table is spread and, and the oven is not working, but praise the Lord anyway. Okay, let's check out this. Come on, let's, let's make our other part of our plate. Mama said, You better come eat your potatoes, it's in the oven, but they ain't got no oven. Pretend we do. Mama said, You ain't got to tell everybody in the neighborhood we ain't got no oven, like you ain't got to tell everybody the lights turned off at the house. Gosh almighty. Come on, let's finish. Honey, let me start mess around and start feeling all the way like myself. What you say, Jimmy? All the way? All the way. All the way. All the way. Okay. Okay. You, you, you got enough on the plate. Dollop a daisy. Since I don't know how to do a dollop, I had to go buy. I had to go buy the squeezable one. Hold on, y'all. I don't know how to dollop. I ain't learned that yet. I ain't learned how to do a dollop, so I have to squeeze it out. All right. That is fine. 
Okay, you ain't got no company to talk to yourself. Well, I know. Okay, let's put it down with the daisy. Just like that. Alright. There you go, daisy. Then, <laughs> then you just push it back. Take a little dressing. Take a little time for yourself. Put a little everything dressing on there. Because everything is wet. Everything. Put it on as yours. I'm going to save a little bit for tomorrow. So I make up some more. Okay, that, that's enough. Don't take all that dressing. No, I don't. Then what else you going to add? I'm going to add this some jalapeno. You want some jalapenos on your... Yeah, give me some jalapenos. I'm going to get some jalapenos. I like hollow kinkles. Okay, well, let's get us some hollow kinkles. Well, I want a little hollow kinkles on mine because I don't like hot food. But these is mild. Well, give me some hollow kinkles. Oh, Lord. Turn it off. It'll keep cooking. Come on over here. So they can get ready to see the hollow kinkles. Get you some saltine crackers, cause they good with them. Not what I eat with mine. Don't you hate when people go around and tell everybody in the family the lights off? You ain't gotta tell out the house. Mama said, don't talk out the house now. You talking out the house. You telling stuff folk don't even have to know. They don't need, they ain't paying no bill here. Huh? They don't need to know the lights off. Ain't nobody gonna help you. They're gonna talk about you. Put them holica pinkles on there. Yeah. That's it. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I got a split decision. Do a dollop a day. Look at Honey. Get in there. Get in there. You ain't even got enough for the next time. Get in there. Get them holica kinkles. Mm, 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 mm. Father God, we thank you for this food and the person that prepared it. Bless her in a special way. God, bless her hands and whatever her hands touch, let them be blessed. Sanctify and purify it to the nourishment of our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Y'all gonna eat now. No, you eat, Mama. No, I eat after the children eat. Mama, eat. No, y'all eat. Mama, eat. Mama say, Mama, so I'm going to knock you out if you don't eat. Yeah, eat. Huh? Eat. Yeah, eat, baby. You want me? Yeah, okay. Which one? I want to try this. Honey, honey. <laughs> Let me try some of this now. I'm going to see if you hit a crunch. Mm, 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 mm. And that everything dressing. It is everything. And it is coming back. It's coming back. Mm, 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 mm. Hang on. Now, Mama, you gonna eat something? Y'all gonna eat something? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was good. Now, look, Mama gotta go. Because she got Bible study in 15 minutes. And she ain't finna eat all of it. But she want to get ugly with it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Then you just eat. Damn, Debbie Gibson. Hang on. And you just ate. Him, Brenda, talking about mouth watering. Him. Margaret Fraser. Him. Mm, 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 mm. 
That's it. I'm finished. I ain't got no oven. Don't y'all worry now. Mama gonna keep cooking. She's just gonna be cooking without an oven. Um, don't make me mess around and make no biscuits on top of the stove. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And see that everything's sour. With that vinegar red, you don't need a lot of dressing. Debbie, you want me to fix your plate? She always want to eat out my plate. Don't you have when people fix their own plate and they want to taste sure? Oh, here you go, Mother Joyce. And so you can have this one. I fixed me another one. Here you go, Mother. No, I fixed another one. You want some water, too? We at the church. Can I get you anything else, Mother? So, I can drop them. That's how I can fix them. You can cook a biscuit on top of the stove. You get the temperature right. You don't flour them up a whole lot. You use the flour, but you're going to use them as a drop biscuit. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all. But listen, I got to go because I got Bible study with Bible study with Mama's Comfort Cooking at 430. I thank y'all for watching me. And um, all mine's clear. I love y'all. Yes, I do. I'm the cook. And you're my friend. Um, y'all know what I'm finna say? What I'm finna say? I'm waiting for somebody to tell me what I'm about to say before I hang up. I'm finna come back. I gotta go, um, get ready for Bible study. Hey, Latonga Brooke! See you later, alligator.